Portus Linux distribution. This set is not even in the list of the most popular distributions on the main page of DistroWatch. I will tell you how good he is. For whom one will be useful. In addition, what I personally liked about it. This distribution is for those who are already familiar with the Linux system and for those who know how to customize it at least a little. This distribution is for those who need a small distribution for simple work. This is surfing the internet, simple typing and working with simple tables. You can do in this environment more complex things probably, but Windows is still better for complex work. Now you can throw rotten tomatoes at me. My Portus Linux contains only the set of tools I personally need. By means of the system itself, you can install the browser you need. In addition, this will be the last version. You can manually install something more exotic. I will tell in the next video how to do this. I manually installed a simple text and spreadsheet editor and an additional set of fonts from Microsoft into my working set. That is enough for me. Unlike other small Linuxes, you can use almost any popular desktop environment right out of the box. These are Cinnamon, KDE Plasma, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, Openbox, XFCE. You can see the sizes of the latest distribution images on the screen. I love working at Cinnamon. In addition, all small Linuxes offer such nonsense out of the box. I no longer want to waste time and nerves tinkering with code to make the working environment more attractive. I have become very lazy. So, my working system is the Cinnamon desktop, the Firefox browser, and a spreadsheet and text editor. I do not need anything else. I also want the system to be easy and quick to reinstall. Portus installs almost instantly. This install is like called frugal. Portus Linux is based on Slackware. It is small, beautiful, and comfortable. The distribution kit is assembled from modules. That is what it means. You have installed the system and the desktop. You have several programs for minimal work and installation of the system on USB drives and hard drives. You find a ready-made file module in the XCM format. Modules are usually available on the distribution developer's forum. Alternatively, you can look for them elsewhere. However, the purpose of this system is minimalism and narrowly focused use. You place the found file module in a special folder on the disk, which is called modules. Now new program or feature is installed. If you no longer need this program or opportunity, then you delete the file module and you have a clean system again. Well, for me personally, this distribution has another huge advantage, it does not require updates. When installing any program, you do not need to download megabytes of dependencies and update programs you do not need. I have expensive and slow internet. In addition, it is not so easy to remove many programs from the downloaded installation images of large popular distributions that are useless for you personally. In addition, it deleting is not always safe for system performance. Why do you need to keep a bunch of junk in the system? You will never use most of the programs offered to you by default in large distributions. Believe me, GIMP cannot be compared with Photoshop in terms of convenience and functionality. If you're not a big fan of updating programs, you have an old laptop and want to restore it and then use it for some simple operations. If you want to occasionally, surf the internet from a clean and light system and not leave any traces on it. In this case, the Portus Linux distribution is for you. You will like this distribution if your internet is expensive and slow like mine. How to install Portus Linux I will tell in the following videos. Often, when installing and configuring less popular Linux systems, unexpected problems arise. However, these problems are solvable. I had a little trouble too. Now everything works, as it should. I am happy as Scrooge McDuck, which got a coin from a beggar on the porch. In the following videos, I will tell about the restoration of an old laptop and the correct creation of a working portable system on a USB drive.